Hello and good morning, Sudoku friends. Welcome to the New York Times Heart Sudoku Puzzle. Today is the 24th of December. If you are celebrating Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas. If you are not, I just wish you a very happy Sunday. We are going to try to solve this puzzle now. And the first thing that I see is that we have a 5 and a 4 blocking across here. We have a 5 and a 4 blocking up here. So a 5 and a 4 must go in these two squares. The 3 up here and the 3 here and the 3 here block all of these four squares. So a 3 must go here. So these two nines and this nine, we know that one of these squares has got to be a nine. Two, three, six, eight across here. There's a three, six, eight block in this square, so it must be a two. And a three and a six block here, so that must be an eight. And we now have a three and a six candidate in these two squares here. And we have a 6 and an 8 here, a 6 and an 8 here, blocking here, 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 and here. So we know that these two squares must be a 6 and an 8 pair. These being 4 and 5, leaves only the two blocks up here. This is a 6, 8. This is a 4, 5. So the 2 is forced to this cell here. The last number to place is a 1 and it has got to go here. Now we have one here, a nine, we have one and nine here, we need to have a one and a nine in these two squares because of this one and a nine pair blocking this square. So one and nine here and here. Seven blocks across, two sevens block up, so this is a 1 or a 9, so a 7 must go here. Yeah, that uh, looks about right. Across here, a uh, 6, 8, and uh, one more, a 3. Don't know much about that. You said that these are 4 and 5. And we need a 4 for column 6. There's 4 blocks here and here, so here's a 4, here's a 5. Now we have a 5 and a 7 here, and a 5 and a 7 here. That gives me a 5 and a 7 for these two squares. We also have a 1 and a 9 for these two. So the last two for the top row are going to be the 6 and an 8. One pair is here. And the other pair must be here. These must be 5 and 9. The two blocks down, giving me a 2 here. This one blocks over, giving me a 1 here. And this, therefore, must be a 7. We got 4 and a 9 blocking here and here. So these must be 4 and 9. And these must be uh, 1, 7. 7 blocks over. Here's a 1. Here's a 7. Two ones blocking here, 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 and here. Two ones blocking here and here. Here's a 1. Three uh, block across here one of these is a three so we need a three for column nine ah it could go here and it could go here seven five here three six eight let's uh, put a seven here shall we because of these two sevens blocking across and this 7 blocking down, 7 must go here. That gives us a 5 up here and a 7 here. We have uh, something going on in row 
seven, we got a four and a five blocking here. We got a four and a five blocking here. So both of these squares must be a remote six and nine pair. And we got four and five in these two squares here. Well, for one thing, it tells me that a two must go here. I could have found out that by just observing these twos blocking here, here, and here, and this two blocking here. But this was this was more fun. <laughs> so now a three, six, eight, nine in column one. I think there's something funny going on with the eights and sixes. But I am seeing a pattern here. I think I'm spotting a triple. This is a three six eight. This is a three six. So we got three six eight triple here. Now let's have a look at the remaining three squares. They can't be three six and eight, so there must be a five nine and a four. Got a four blocking here, so this is five nine. We also have five nine here. So five nine, five nine. These three squares can't be five and nine. There must be a six, eight <laughs> again, and a three. But you know what? If these three here are um, three, six, and eight, it follows that there can be no other eights here, here, and here. And that means that this eight blocks across, one of these must be an eight. Eights here or here, we've got eight here and here. That means that one of these must be an eight. And uh, this is not a three six eight anymore, it is just a three and a six. Now I am looking at column two. We need to find a four, five, eight, and a six. I think something is happening here as well. We know that this can't be an eight. It also cannot be a six, and it couldn't be an eight because one of these is an eight, remember? So it cannot be an eight and it cannot be a six. It's a four or five. This is a four or a nine. Now have a look at this square. We got a three, six, eight here. It also cannot be a 1 and a 2. It could be a 5 and it could be a 4. But it couldn't be an 8. It could be a 9. So we got a 4, 5, 9 triple going on here. Isn't that nice? And why is it nice? Because that means that one of these is a 5 blocking across here. This five blocks down here. This five blocks across here. So a five goes here. Yeah, that was nice. It would definitely be easier with pencil marks. I give you that. Those of you who use pencil marks for solving because this is a lot of stuff to keep in memory. I, I admit. And I'm not even sure that it's going to be successful here because we got five and nines uh, down here. We got one nines here, one six here, no, six eights here and six eights here and here. And still a three to find. So no, it's not easy, but it's fun. Will be a longer video today, though. <laughs> My Christmas present for you all. We can draw another conclusion and we can find another five. We can find a five for column eight because we know that these are 
5 and 9. We know that none of these can be 5s. We also have 5s blocking here, 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 and here. So it follows that this must be a 5. Now we can resolve these here because the 5 now goes here and the 9 goes here. These two 5s block across. This 5 up here blocked down. So here's a 5. We know that one of these must be a 5. We know that from earlier. So this is now the 5, and these are four nines. So can we do more with the nines now? Nine blocks down and over. No, not quite yet. But we can do a four. We can do a four here because this four blocks here, this four blocks here. So here's a four. And now a six nine here and here. And since we found this four blocking up, and this four blocks up, we got four blocking here and we got a four blocking here. This is now our four. This up here is a 6, 8. We remember that, I'm sure. We also need to find a 2 and a 3 for the column. The 2 can't go here because of this 2. 2 can't go here or here, so a 2 must go in this square. 3 goes here or here, we know that, but there's nothing really preventing me from entering a 3 here, except that would be a guess. So I won't do it. But I shouldn't neglect this square. It was a 5, 9. We found the 5, so the 9 must go here. So uh, 3, 6, 8 here, I'm sure we all remember that now. That leaves me to find a 4. And the 4 must go here. It's the last empty square in the column. And that gives me a 4 here and a 9 here. Now we have this 9 blocking across, this 9 blocks down, here's another 9. Things are looking pretty good now. So 3, 6 and 8 still for these squares. We know that the 3 blocks here, we know that one of these is an 8, so this must be a 6. And 3 and 8 here, but we also know that since one of the, these is an 8 blocking up and this 8 blocks here, this must be an 8 and this therefore must be a 3. 8 blocks, what, what are these? 3 and 6, right? 3 blocks over 6 here therefore and a 3 here. 6, 8, 6, 8. Six eight six eight. <laughs> nice. So an eight and a four here. We can do those. So the four goes here and the eight here. Here we need a six. We got this six and this six blocking here, here and here, and this six blocking down. So here's a six. And we know that this is a one nine. So it can't be a six. Therefore, this must be a 6. Uh, that gives me a 6 here and an 8 here. Things are coming together nicely now. Here's a 2. And that gives us a 2 down here. This last square here must be a 9. That gives me a 9 here and a 1 here because these were 1s and 9s, remember? This 1 blocks down, giving me a 1 here. Here an 8 and a 3. 3 blocks, 8 here, 3 here. Here 8 and 3 again, 8 blocks, 3 here, 8 here. This was a 6, 8. Because of this 6, now it's just an 8. And this is a 6, and this is an 8, and this is a 3. And that's it for today. 
It was a very nice Christmas present from the New York Times. Not at all easy until we found and unraveled all the pairs in the center suit. Thank you for watching and bye for now.